And it looks like some of that funding will go to many performing arts places that have been pleading for help this year. Christian Garzon joining us now live from the Rochester Broadway Theater League area. Christian, as we know, this is called Save Our Stages provision, and apparently it is in the federal stimulus package. Adam, it is. Now, since March, we've seen almost no performing arts, indoors or outdoors. Save Our Stages is about $15 billion out of that federal stimulus package for venues that are closed. Now, there are quite a few stipulations, though. As we learned, it's not just a big check for every stage or arts festival out there. Since March, in New York and much of the nation, live performing arts just haven't happened. Erica Fee is the festival producer of the Rochester Fringe Fest. So in order to get this country back on our feet, we need to have the arts. Today, some good news for the performing arts across the nation. Relief for some of those struggling venues is on the way in the latest federal stimulus package, about $15 billion. It may be a lifeline for organizations. Right now, we are trying to work out what the rules will be. Now, to get relief, about 70% of a venue's income needs to come from ticket sales and concessions. But... The average for professional theaters in the United States is about 26%. Mm, so right now, a lot of theaters and arts organizations would not qualify. Fee is hoping the Small Business Administration can change those rules a bit so more can get the boost they need. The PPP loans have already run dry. Fee says she's been pleading with Senator Chuck Schumer and Congressman Joe Morelli for months to support this arrangement. There are a lot of things in this bill that help New York. I'm very proud of the mass transit provisions. I'm very proud of the Save Our Stages provisions. Fee says the arts have a larger economic impact than you might think. Broadway, for instance, can outdraw New York sports teams. She says filling that hole and making sure performing arts are saved for whenever the pandemic ends is critical. So if we don't invest a little bit now, we're going to be investing a ton later on in order to get the industry back up on its feet. Now, Fee did send me a study showing in 2018 that the arts and cultural sector of the U.S. economy uh, contributed $763 billion. That was more than agriculture and transportation, so certainly a very big part of the American economic picture. In Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8. Adam Marine, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. Christian Garzon reporting live outside the Auditorium Theater there in Rochester. By the way, Fee did say for Fringe Fest 20. 2021 due to kickoff in September, they are still full steam ahead with plans.